Whoa, oh. there's another box inside the bag. Maybe the parents like us won't be able to be there for our kids, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. Japan is a country with a lot of natural disasters. Japan's land area is less than 1% of all land on Earth. But about 10% of all earthquakes happen in or near Japan. And not to mention the typhoons, volcano eruptions, and landslides. I think they've heard about the Great East Japan earthquake that happened 10 years ago that killed more than 20,000 people. Another earthquake that will bring 10 times more damage than the Great East Japan earthquake is estimated to happen sometime during 2030 to 2040. Some experts actually say that it can happen at any moment. Maybe even right now when I'm shooting this. Anyways, it is impossible to avoid natural disasters if you're living in Japan. You must be ready for any emergencies that might happen. So today, Harumi and I bought something called a bonsai bag, which literally means preparation for disasters bag. They may be called go bag in your region. These bags have everything you need in case you need to evacuate in an emergency. We will open the bags and show you what's inside so that you can get an idea of what kind of things you need to prepare. The link to where we bought the bags is in the description box. So if you consider buying it yourself, please check them out too. So let's go. All right, so Harumi is here. Yay. All right. So we have the two big boxes here. The bottom one, as you can see, it's written Hitoriyo for one adult with 31 items in it. So we have two of these for Harumi and I. And the small one on top here is actually for the kids as well. So this is a kid's bag, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're going to be opening up both of them to let you show what's inside both the for the adults and also for the kids. Then we'll start from opening up the bigger bag here in the Bullseye book. All right, here we go. There we go. This is inside. It's actually pretty big. Wow. Okay, let's take off the plastic. And there's nothing else inside, yeah. Whoa, there we go. So this is it. The design is actually pretty cool. <laughs> That's black and a little bit of red here. Mm. Yeah, and this is glow and dark, exactly. Mm. And on this paper here, it tells us what's inside the bag. Mm. But we'll cut it off for now. So then before we start opening the bag, how about you try holding it on your back before oh. you open it? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, you wanna try? I kind of show it to everyone. How does it feel? Is it good? There's supposed to be a belt. Oh yeah, yeah this one. Oh. There is a belt here that you can use. There we go. That fit perfectly. Feels a little bit lighter. Yeah. It's not heavy? Yeah, not heavy. Really? There's more. The shape is nice. Oh yeah, exactly. If you pull the strings even more, it'll fit on your back. Okay, so how about we start looking what's inside? Okay, so uh, Nagi started to cry, so we brought her over here. Okay, so let's start opening up the bag. So this is completely waterproof, isn't it? Yeah, the zippers are, are waterproof as well. It doesn't let any water get inside into the bag. There we go. Whoa! Everything is in plastic. Okay, let's start opening it, yep. Okay, so let's see what's inside. Uh, first of all, some gloves. Some gloves here, yeah. Very, very strong. Lip is small though. Is this for... I don't know, let me, let me try it on. Mm. Oh, it's not a problem at all. It fits perfectly, actually. Oh. This might be a little bit big for you, actually, mm. then. Wanna try it on? Sorry. It's a little bit big for you. A little bit. Yeah, but you can barely use it still, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, your fingers aren't here, yeah. <laughs> I guess this is for men size, then. Mm. It's probably a free size for all adults, mm. yeah. This is a little bit big, maybe, for, for women, yeah. What's this? Oh, this is just simply a towel inside it. Mm. This 
is raincoat. Ah. Of course, when you're trying to evacuate, it might be raining, so mm. you can wear this in case it's raining. Three toothbrushes. Mm. This is a fork and a spoon plastic. Mm. And this is the whistle you can use. Let me try it out. In case you like, for example, you get captured somewhere and you need to call for help, you can mm -hmm. use this. Let me try it out. Ooh. Yeah, I'd be mean, really, really loud, yes. Okay. This is, I think it's like a plastic bag for your smartphones. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's actually pretty big. Mm -hmm. I think any size would fit in, yeah. Mm. What is this one? <laughs> it has nothing written on it. <laughs> this is probably the pillow, yeah. And this is a toilet, actually, that you can use. Ah, when emergency natural disasters happen, of course, the bathrooms, the toilets will not be able to use. So you put this over the toilets, mm -hmm. right? Yes, and then it absorbs any kind of liquid for you, yes. Mm. So this is something that you need. And this is the... what is this one? Oh, so it's really, it makes it really warm, right? Mm -hmm. It keeps the warmth inside. Exactly, it was really thin. I, wow. I was looking at the pictures on the website and I didn't expect it to be this small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you take a look at this picture, you can see that the adults are wearing it, you know. Mm -hmm. And it keeps you very warm. I didn't, mm -hmm. Imagine it to be this small though. This is really cool. Okay. And lastly, inside the first bag here for the sandals. Because when in emergencies there might be a lot of glass or stuff on the, the ground. Yeah, even when you're about to sleep, you don't want to take off your like your socks and shoes completely. So sandals, they say would come in handy. Yeah. It says 4243 here, so this is again probably a male size. Yes. Then let's take a look at the other things inside. Some of the tissue here. This green one is karadafuki, for wiping your body. Mm. Of course, you can't take showers, right? Mm. There won't be any water, so mm. keep yourself clean. Yep. Whoa, ah. this one's big. Okay, this one has a lot of things in it. There is, first of all, a flashlight in it. There are some plastic cups. Mm. And this is like a small tank, right? Mm. That you can use to preserve water in it, mm. yep. And there is a switch here where you can use to pour water and stop water so you don't accidentally spill any of the water you put into the tank, which is really nice. There are some more tissue paper and some small plastic bags as well. And some plates too, paper plates. On the top here, very easy to understand. <laughs> no, <laughs> right here. When you eat food using the plates, if you put the food directly on the plates, you won't be able to use the paper plates anymore. But if you put this wrapping over it, you'll be able to use the same paper plates over and over. Mm. And also you can use it, like for example, if you break your arm, yeah, so you can you make a simple, like an instant splint with it using this knot with here, so. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I see it everywhere. Every website that you look up to, you know, find what you need for emergencies. Yeah, they always have the plastic wrappings in this. Okay, and this are some masks. I think everyone has plenty of these recently. <laughs> and... Whoa, there's another box inside the bag. This is the bed that you can use. Wow, it's actually in English. In back here, if you can see, the descriptions are written in multiple languages. This is nice. And I think this was one of like their like their best items mm -hmm. inside the bags, right? It's really, as you can see in the picture here, it's really, really thick. Mm -hmm. So they said it's really comfortable. Mm -hmm. For example, if you have to be evacuated somewhere outside your house, like gyms at schools and such, mm -hmm. and you have to stay there for a long time, if the bats are really thin, you start to get very tired because it's almost like you're laying on the floor directly, right? That's right, exactly, exactly. If it was winter, you're horrible without a thick bed, yeah. It's perfect. And this one is the hand pump because the bed needs to be pumped. The hand pump is for that. Really? Oh, that's so amazing. Wow. If in emergencies, I bet you'd be really tired, obviously, mm -hmm. running away, and you'd probably be really scared too. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be using too much energy on making beds or whatever. You'll be too tired, yes. Oh, this is amazing too. 
Oh, there were a little bit more actually in the small pockets. There were some batteries. A lot of batteries actually. <laughs> and also, this is a charger for your phones. But it's written on the back here that there are no cables with it, yes. I think you have to add that into the bag here yourself, yes. And then I believe the bag is completely empty. Yeah. This is a different pocket, but this one just leads into the main pocket here, see? Ah, sorry. Exactly, exactly. So it's just a different way of opening up the main part. Okay. Okay, so then let's open up the kids' bag too, mm. yes. So of course in emergency, you don't know what would happen. Maybe the parents like us won't be able to be there for our kids, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So and then the kids can take these bags themselves, carry them themselves, and maybe get help from a different adult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what's inside. It's a lot smaller, definitely. So this is the bag. Mm -hmm. This is the bag itself. You have to open it up. Why don't we open it up and start putting our things in? Oh, it's a really bright orange color. Mm -hmm. Yes emergency kit. Compared to the adult bag, it's really, really skinny and super light. Mm, yeah. yeah. Mm, exactly, exactly. Mm. Very, very light. Mm. This bag is perfect. So, what we're going to be putting into the bag are, again, another raincoat for kids. And, oh, so for the kids set, there are some food in it too. Mm. This is milk bread. This lasts for seven years, it's written. Mm -hmm. Milk bread. Hey. Oh, bisco. Mm. These cookies last for, I think, five years. It was written on the website. Mm. These last for a very long time, too. And this is some water. Also lasts mm. for seven years, it's written. Flashlight, wet tissue again. Five of the safety toilets for the kids mm. as well. On the back, it's written how you can use them, sending them up on the toilets. Mm. It says it lasts for 15 years. Mm. Yes. And it also stops the smell as well. Mm -hmm. Perfect. This is the blanket again, mm -hmm. made from aluminum. Yes, this is the kids' version. But I think I saw on the website that adults can use this too. Mm -hmm. This is oh, the same size as adults. This one that we found on adults bag too. Mm -hmm. It's probably about the same size. And this is the bed for the kids' bag, yes. Mm. And this also says that it's really fluffy with all of the air you can put into it. Air mats, this mm. says. Yeah, you put in a straw and you blow into it, I believe. Okay, that's good. Another one of these, the ones that we had in the adult bags too, the whistle. And there are some very cute sized gloves as well, really small size. And what's this? Oh yeah, it's kind. It's some kind of bandage, it says. You can use this in case of injuries, I believe. Mm -hmm. This is good. A small set for injuries, just in case. And then there's nothing left. Okay, so everything got inside, but there are a lot of space left, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you put in too much, though, it might be a little bit too heavy for your kids to carry, so that's the problem, but... Mm. Mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. You put that in too? Yeah, still very, very light, mm. yes. See, it is definitely very light. Maybe she probably won't be able, barely maybe? So Hinata is two and a half years old. <laughs> Can you walk? You look happy. <laughs> Uh, it's probably going to be difficult for you to walk. Uh, yeah, it's impossible to walk. Uh, oh. It's pretty heavy, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> okay. okay yeah. It'll probably be difficult for you to carry it. You need to get a little bit older. Okay, this one's for kids. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. The adult bag that we introduced today, this one is the set that doesn't include any food in it, preserved food. So there are many different kinds of these bullseye bug on the internet. If you look at the, for example, Amazon and such, there'll be different kinds of items. We already have quite a lot of water, preserved water and food in our house. So we didn't need it. So that's the reason why we bought this bag this time. 
but it, it's up to your situation. Yes, there are bags that include the food and also still have the same 31 items set. So if you can look out that up yourself as well. And again, if you're going to be living in Japan, natural disasters would definitely happen 100%. There's no way to avoid it. So being prepared like these bags and such is not an option. It's something that you must do to protect yourself and the people around you, the important people around you. So I hope you can really, if you're ever going to be coming to Japan, even if you're going to be traveling for a short period of time, it's best you can maybe prepare any, just a few of these items would be nice as well. And if you're going to be living here half a year, like an year, you really should prepare these bags or some kind of preparation in case of emergencies. Okay, and again, for this bag and these items we bought today, please take a look at the description box or a link to their websites where you can buy them too. So in this channel, we'll be introducing useful merchandise and items that you can have when you visit or live in Japan. So I hope you can subscribe to enjoy our other content. Thanks again, and we'll see you in our next video. Dobo, arigatou gozaimashita. Thanks so much, guys. Everyone, once again, thank you very much for watching this video and welcome to the Omake Talk. So I'm really worried how, about how many people would actually watch this video to the Omake Talk. <laughs> There's usually only less than 10% of people watching this and especially we started this new series, you might have noticed. Well, basically our first time actually trying out a video where we introduce, you know, items and this kind of merchandise kind of video. I've always wanted to do this. You know, there's so many interesting, you know, things that you can buy in Japan that are really interesting to know about, you know, enjoyable and such. But I was like, you know, there's so many other channels, great channels that do it, of course, a lot better than I would probably do it, you know. And I was like, I don't know if, if I should do it or not, you know, introducing, you know, sweets and at convenience stores or I didn't know what I should do, you know. So, but recently I finally thought that maybe if I could introduce like, interesting products or services that will like ha help you to have a better time in Japan, I thought that may be like a really good concept. So I wanted to start with this bosai bagu. You know, I don't want to like, for example, introduce, I don't know, like just like I said, you know, the sweets at convenience stores or, you know, just like these new, I don't know, toys or something. I, I'm really not, I don't really don't know. But anyways, I don't want to do these things because a lot of, a lot of other great channels do that already. already and I'm pretty sure you already watch some of these videos that, that do this, right? So I wanted to do something that's really, that's really helpful and um, enjoyable, I guess, when you actually live in Japan. So today's bonsai bagu is like completely on my idea of my theme, you know. So otherwise, um, on my list, I'm hopefully going to be introducing like a simple kimono where you can wear it without doing all the um, the difficult um, way to tie the obi, the belt and such. That's really interesting. I want to... Um, there's actually this service where you can subscribe and they will send you matcha to your house every month or Japanese sweets to your months to your house. So that's really interesting too, I thought. And so on. So yeah, I hope you can really look forward to these videos. And if there's if you can give us any advice on what we should do to make these vid videos better, that would be really helpful. So and yeah, if you have anything that you like to know more about, like like what you're worried about when you come to Japan, like what to buy or like what's best of whatever it'd be great if you can let me know about that too okay so thank you so much i'll see you again soon